Let's talk about how to plot this ellipse in MATLAB. So when you see something like this with endpoints 0, 2, and 5, 0, then at least for me, what I think reflexively is x squared over 5 squared, so x squared over 25, plus y squared over 2 squared, so y squared over 4 equals 1. But Starting from this equation, saying how do x and y relate, it's not so easy to turn that into a plot in MATLAB. So uh, let's talk about a different strategy for this. And so maybe to do that, let's talk about some easier case. So what about instead of an ellipse? Here, what about a circle? So uh, that's x squared plus y squared equals 1. And uh, on the other hand, another way to think about a circle is it's parameterized, and this should be familiar to you if you've taken math 2D. It's parameterized by cosine t, sine t. And uh, in my mind, this is almost the definition of cosine and sine. It says if I give you the angle in radians with the positive x-axis, what is the corresponding point on the circle, and its x-coordinate is cosine t, and its y-coordinate is sine t. So uh, that's what's called a parametrization of the circle. What's a parametrization of the ellipse? Well, he, there are two different ways to think about it. I want something in the numerator that cancels out with this 25, so I can use 5 cosine t. Or another way to think about it is, what's the range of cosine? It's negative 1 to 1. What do I want the range to be? I want it to be negative 5 to positive 5. So how can I take a function whose range is negative 1 to 1 and get a function whose range is negative 5 to 5? I can multiply it by 5. So that's another way to see where this 5 comes from. And you practice with this sort of thing a lot in Math 2D. And similarly, for the y-coordinate, we'll use 2 sine t. And if you try plugging that into this equation, you'll get that it does satisfy x squared over 25 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. And now, uh, once I have that idea, how do I turn it into MATLAB code? So uh, remember the way MATLAB plots? is you have some discrete finite set of points, and then it draws little straight lines connecting them. So uh, let's say I want to use 50 points. So I'm going to say t is the vector lin space. Start at 0. And it, these parameterizations, they're for t from 0 to 2 pi radians. So start at 0 end at 2 pi, and let's use 50 sample points. If I want the um, ellipse to look smoother, then I can use more sample points. But 50 should be enough. And so uh, that's not part of the ellipse. That's telling me about the sample points. Now uh, I want to know what are the x coordinates going to be. So they're going to be x equals 5 times cosine of t. And you would be right to worry that does it really make sense to plug a vector into cosine? But for MATLAB, the answer is yes, that does make sense. And what does it do? It just applies cosine to each of the individual entries in the vector. And so similarly, y is going to be 2 sine of t. And now if I want to plot it, it's easy. I just say plot, and I've already found what are the x-coordinates and what are the y-coordinates. And if you try this in MATLAB, you're going to be surprised at what shows up, because it's just going to look like a perfectly round circle. And why is that? Well, MATLAB by default is going to zoom in, and it'll zoom in at different proportions for x and y. So it'll zoom in as much as possible in the x direction so that it just 
contains the negative five to five range. And similarly, it'll zoom in as much as possible in the y direction. So it just, it zooms in even more to negative two to two. And so how can we, how can we correct this? I can add one more command at the bottom. And axis, I need to tell it what should be the x minimum value and the x maximum value. So let's just take negative 10 to 10. And once I've chosen that, let's use the exact same width of the y range so that the proportions are correct. So let's use negative 10 to 10 also. And now if you try, try executing these five lines inside of MATLAB and then you, you run it, then you're going to see in a separate window, you're going to see a plot that looks just like this ellipse with, without these correct or without these labeled points, but you'll see the right shape and the proportions will be correct because of this axis command at the bottom.